iOS 14 now lets you put widgets on your home screen, but they're a little bit limited in the ones that Apple gives you. So there are some new apps that are coming out right now that are letting you put custom widgets on your home screen. So unlike other app of the day videos where I just focus on one app, I'm gonna show you three different apps that lets you put custom widgets right on your iPhone. And as I'm recording this, all three of them are number one, two, and three in the app store in the US. Let me show you the first one, which is by far the easiest. It's called Color Widgets. So I'll put a link to all these in the description below, but let me show you Color Widgets and how it works. When you download and open the app, you should see a section for all these different widgets. And basically what these widgets do, they show you the time, they show you the date, and they show you the battery life of your iPhone or iPad. So all you have to do to use these is select one of them you like. So I'll select this one right on top and then press edit widget. And then here you could customize it a little bit here. So you could select all these different types of colors and options you have over here, themes and fonts, and even add your own background image and then press set widget. I won't do that in this case. Let me just go back to the light theme and press set widget. Okay, now to set it on your home screen, all you have to do is get out of this app press and hold long somewhere in the blank area of your home screen, and then you'll get the plus sign. This is how you add any widget, but now you have this app that lets you put that kind of widget that I showed you. Press the plus sign, and here's the widget right there. If you don't see it, just scroll all the way to the bottom here, and you should see something called color widgets. So you could select it that way too, but I'll just select it right over here. And you get three different sizes. That's typically the case with most widgets here on iOS 14. I'll select this one and press add widget and it's right on top there. Any widget you can move around here. So just press and hold on it and move it anywhere on your page and then let go. And now you can press done. And that's the color widget app that lets you put this specific widget on your home screen. I'll remove this one to show you the next one. Let me go back to the app store. And this one is called photo widget. And it basically lets you assign a few photos as a widget and it will auto rotate through those. So let me show you that. And this one's super simple. All you have to do is press the plus sign. It looks like it's up to 30 images you could have in this app and then add pictures that you want to be part of this widget. So add those here. And then all you have to do again is get out of this page, press and hold on a blank area on your homepage here, get the plus sign, press the plus sign, and this one's called the photo widget. So right here, I'm gonna press that. And again, it has three different sizes. So I'll choose the square this time and I'll press add widget. And there it is. You can move it around again and press done. There is one thing in the app that you could do actually that I didn't show you. Let me go back to the app. There's a settings option on top, press that. And it lets you auto refresh the photo. So right now it's gonna be stuck on that one photo, the first photo you pick. But if you press auto refresh, and set it to five minutes, it will change that photo every five minutes or so. And you have all these different options for time interval. This one is not one of my favorites because there's already a photo widget that comes with your iPhone with iOS 14. This one, you get more specific on the pictures you could choose. It's a little bit easier that way, but the photo one I've been using and it's working just fine. Let me go ahead and remove that and show you the last app. And the last app I wanna show you for widgets is called Widgetsmith. And this one is by far the most advanced one. It has a lot of options built in. It even has a paid upgrade for some of the widgets. So not every single one of the widgets you'll see here are free, but they make it pretty obvious which one is free and which one is not. Let me go ahead and open this up here for the first time. And it's very simple. You again have three different size widgets, small, medium, and large. Now all I have to do here is tap one of these widgets. So the small widget number one, I'm gonna tap it. So I could actually change what the widget is in the small widget. I'll press this one more time to get this whole menu. And here I have more options here. As you could see, some are paid upgrades with the lock icon and some are not. So let me choose a free one here. I'll choose the one that just shows today's day. And let me go back here and press save. And now to add this, all you have to do is go back to the home page, press and hold, press the plus sign, and let me find this on the bottom here. There it is, Widget Smith. I'm gonna select that. All your apps that have widgets are going to show up on this list over here. So I'll choose this one. And it's not showing me a preview, but let me press Add Widget. And there it is, it's right on top. Again, I could press and hold this and edit it, remove it, or I could just tap it to go in there to change some of my settings. 
If you go inside of the tools menu here, you could see some customizable option that some of the other apps don't give you. So this one is a little bit more advanced. I found it a little bit more glitchy than the other ones, but it does have more features and paid upgrades. If you want to use the weather widget, for example, that one is pretty advanced and it looks very visually interesting. Let me show you. There it is. The weather apps are a paid upgrade within this widget app, but they look visually more interesting than the weather app that comes with your phone. So from all these three apps, I wouldn't make individual videos on any one of these for this channel or for app of the day, but I thought all three of them could be beneficial for you to really mix up your homepage. Some of them are still very glitchy. Some of them are only two or three days old. So hopefully they get better with time. My experience so far wasn't that great using them or the features were not enough for me to want to get a whole app just to put a widget that shows me that today's date when I already have that on my home screen. So I'm hoping these get better so I could update this video in the near future, but I hope you found it useful enough to use some of these to decorate your homepage with widgets. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.